Have you ever asked yourself or wondered what's the easiest way to communicate? Why isn't that something that we're taught in school? How do I actually influence others? More importantly, myself. Well, that's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. The number one tip to communications. How are you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, some of you maybe have heard this story before, but I remember I went to see my, um, went over to a good buddy of mine, and I had a conversation with his roommate. And it was the first time I'd actually met the guy, but he started talking to me about sports, and he started asking me all these questions, like, who did I think was the best basketball player? And um, you can tell the error by the way I'm going to respond, but I told him, you know, if you're talking about individuals, Michael Jordan, if you're talking about um, teammate, it's uh, Magic Johnson. And then he was like, well, what do you think about Larry Bird? And I was like, oh, man, you're talking about a guy that doesn't have the athleticism, but, I mean, the, the games, the skills. And and so I went on and on. And, and, and the, the beautiful part when I left, I was like, that guy has great communication skills. How many of you maybe have caught what, what he actually did? He asked questions. That is the number one communication skill. I was just having this actually with someone yesterday. And he was saying the exact same thing is that he was talking to a young lady and he was asking her all these questions. But guess what? These are questions that was just on his heart. So it wasn't like he was really... Uh, thinking that he was really evolving or, or, or had figured out a secret or anything. But he, these are just questions that was on his heart that he needed some answers to. And so he basically was throwing all these questions at her, and every time he asked her something, she would light up. Why was she lighting up? Why was she intrigued in the conversation? The reason for that, and a lot of us don't want to hear this, but the number one, the, the most important person to each one of us is ourselves. Now, we've been taught, we're in a society that tells you that thinking about yourself, putting yourself first, it's a negative. You should never, it's not about you. It's bigger than you and all that. Folks, we are our favorite subject. We just are. And we should be. We're the only person that's with us 24 hours, seven days a week. That's just the way it is. I don't care how much your parents, your, your, your mom, your dad, your brother, your wife, your cousin, whoever, how much they love you, they're not going to be with you 24 hours a day. You're the only person that gets that privilege. And you're going to be with you from the day you're born to the day you leave here. So you better learn to love that person. So anyway, that's why that is your favorite subject and should be. There's a difference, as you guys have heard me say before, there's a difference in confidence and arrogance. Arrogance is when you start to put yourself above people. You'll never hear me say that. And that's not the conversation, but you got to love you and you got to be very confident. So the bottom line is whenever you're asking a person questions, who is now shining? Who is the person that that's getting all the attention? They are. And that's why this young lady was lighting up. That's why when the young man was asking me all those questions, I was lighting up. And that's why I felt like he was one of the greatest, com the conversation I had with him, I should say, was one of the greatest conversations I've ever had. Because he allowed my most favorite subject, which was me, he allowed me to shine. Folks, you have to use this even with yourself. Ask yourself questions all the time. Why? 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 Now, you guys know, for me, I actually teach or share that's the way I came up with what purpose is because I kept asking why. Why do we do this? And then if you, you know, if you say, why do you want that car? And you go, oh, because I like the body style or whatever. And then you go, well, why does that matter? And you just keep asking why, whatever answers you come up with. You're always going to come up with the same conclusion, which is, I believe it makes me feel better by doing, being, or having. So again, that is the purpose. But that's also why we do what we do, because it makes us feel better. So if we understand that, that that's what we're striving for as individuals, wouldn't it make sense that if that is the purpose, that's what's driving us, that if I use the, that technique in terms of letting you figure out what makes you feel better by asking you why, 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 so we can get down to why, 
Wouldn't that influence your actions? Wouldn't that influence the way that you look at me? Because first off, if I'm asking you that, it's showing that I'm paying attention or at least I'm observing, at least I'm doing a good job of acting. Um, hopefully you're sincere when you do that with people. Um, I've shared with you before, I have a friend that's good at that. She stares at you and she locks in on you and, and the world just disappears. It's just you and her. Incredible, incredible gift. I shouldn't say gift because you guys know I don't like the word gift. That's something that she's created and something she has done herself. That's the skill set that she's created. And that's the reason I wanted to correct that real quick and not say it's a gift because it's not something you're born with. It's something that she has actually made a, a skill of hers by practicing doing it, which is what I'm talking about here. It's getting good at asking questions and it holds true for ourselves. We got to get good at just asking questions to ourselves. Why do I feel this way? Why am I thinking what I'm thinking? Is this going to get me to where I want to go? As you start to ask, ask those questions, then go start doing the research. And this is one of the things I was, I was going to share, which was about like shredding the old self. And that's where this comes from when you ask the questions and you keep asking yourself questions and maybe you don't know the answers. Understand that's the beauty in the culture in which we live today is getting answers is easy. Most of it's right there on your telephone. Look for people who have gotten the results of what it is that you want, the, que the answers to the questions that you're looking for, and duplicate. We spend too much time trying to, as they say, create the, uh, recreate the wheel when the wheel's already been created just by the wheel. So the same thing. When people, when there's certain questions that you have, go find people that are getting that result. Pick their brain if you can or read their materials and then go practice and then make that a skill like the young lady that I'm talking about and make that a skill. So I really wanted to talk on that today really because... Um, like I said, the young man I talked to because he had really lit up at the fact that the young lady was so impressed that the fact that it seemed like he actually cared and it had her really thinking because for most people, we don't ever get a chance to actually share our true feelings and no one actually acts as if they really care about our feelings. And it's because most of us, and if you guys practice this or if you watch other people, You'll see most people are not really having a uh, conversation. Most people are spending their time trying to share their intellect. Folks, I am, I, I, I am so guilty of that. <laughs> Trust me. And, I, and, I, and I'm very aware of it. And I'm, and I'm getting better at recognizing it and getting better at not trying to share information and listen and ask questions. And folks, you want to see people melt? Let them know that they're important. And you do that by asking questions. It makes a relationship solid. And that's what was going on with the young lady when he was asking her questions. Because he really got to see what it is that's going on within her. She got the opportunity to share. That is the number one way to build a safe place. And you guys know I've talked about that a few videos uh, uh, last uh, couple of weeks ago. Where building a safe place in a relationship. You only get to a safe place is asking questions, more importantly, actually listening and then implementing the changes. Like I've said before, if what a person is asking of you is not a deal breaker, it's not making you go against your beliefs and your values, unless those need to be changed, unless you got some bad habits going on and they need changing. But as long as it's not going the red flags, take in what people are doing. Make the adjustments. That's what compromising is all about. It's being able to say, first, I need to hear what you're saying so that we can compromise. But if I'm just basically letting you talk, but only so I can share my perspective, my view, it's an unhealthy relationship. It's not a safe place. And the person recognizes that you're not listening and paying attention. And guess what? They'll stop sharing. So the number one thing I want you to take away from this conversation today. First, if you haven't done it yourself, watch other people and watch how they don't listen to each other. 
because nobody's asking questions. Everybody is interrupting the other person or waiting for them to finish so they can share their, their view. But go into a conversation and start asking questions and watch how people change. Most important, and because we're on Self Love uh, Monday, I want you to do that with yourself today. Spend time asking yourself questions. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Uh, for some of you, this is going to start with your job. Why do I work where I work? Am I enjoying what I'm doing? Is it helping me gain value for myself? You know what I mean? Where, where I feel like I'm adding value to the world. And maybe that's not your driving force, but if it is, am I adding value to the world? Am I adding value to my family? The things that are important to you. I mean, and so ask those questions. Am I, am I giving, letting my family know how much I care for them? And listen to your answers to your responses. And, and, and fo folks, the more you actually ask questions and you actually listen to your own answers, your real answers with no filters, and then start to act on those, you'll watch all your relationships change. Most importantly, the one with the person in the mirror. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong, it is my opinion. Now, for those of you on Relationship Thursday, we'll talk to you on Thursday. And then for those of you on Self Love Monday, we'll talk to you next Monday. Uh, run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. And you can see all the things that I got going on. And folks, just remember, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Practice as soon as you get through watching this video of asking yourself questions. Listen to the answers and then start practicing with others and watch how your life changes. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.